Inside this package, I have the rarest pre-workout in the world. I mean, that's not that's not actual fact, but you know they don't make these anymore, so you know. So, what could be inside this package? Christmas came early, that's for sure. <laughs> so, I have one person and one person only to thank for these. My friend, John Shepard. He also has a YouTube channel. I will link his stuff in the description box down below. He actually sent these over. Uh, long story short, he knows how much I love these. I put in an old video, maybe two to three videos ago, um, that I'd had the last one out of my tub. And he was like, look, I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of them. You can have mine sort of thing. Um, and so, yeah. Cheers, John. I'm a little bit excited. Cold in here today. That it was not getting back up. <sighs> so, <sighs> Wobs, this stuff. Why is it the rarest pre workout in the world, you ask? I know, I know, I know, you're all thinking it, you know. Um, what, I, I made that up, but it kind of makes sense because this is Mo Samuel's pre workout, right? Um, he's making a new one, and this one has been discontinued. Um, as in, they don't make it anymore. This, once this is gone, is, is it. And then vice versa for everyone else. You can't buy anymore. I'm sure Mo's got a few stashed away for himself, and you know he might re-release it in the future. But as of right now, this, in the words of Mo himself, is rarer than a f***ing dinosaur. constant kind of crossroads with my pull-ups, right? If you've been following me for a while, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that pull-ups have been my area of focus for a long time. Something I've wanted to build up because it was weak, right? And I'm at this constant trouble, if you like, where if I'm getting heavier, i.e. bulking, it gets harder to pull that amount of weight when your strength doesn't kind of line up with that. But then also, vice versa, when you're cutting, when you're dieting, like I am right now, I'm getting lighter so the pull-ups get easier, but you also get weaker, in inverted quotations. So I'm at this forever, like, eight to 10 pull-ups kind of range, and I can't seem to break it, but I'm doing my best. <laughs>
me off, dog. You put me off. Now, I wouldn't recommend taking two of these. Um, I just kind of got excited and I hadn't had one for a while and I was like, okay, cool. I'll take two. It's a Monday morning. I'm going in, you know, but wouldn't recommend that. Anyway, not that you can if you don't have any because they don't sell them anymore, but I know what you guys are thinking now. Of course, Mo is going to say these are rarer than a fucking dinosaur because he wants to sell his product, right? But the product isn't for sale anymore. That's kind of the point. That's why it's rare. I do know that he is releasing another pre, I think the end of next month, if I remember correctly. Um, so of course, very excited for that. I love the first pre. Um, apparently it's completely different. But the pump today feels really good. Feels, I mean, you can't, I've got a baggy top on, but like, it feels really good, which is great because there's nothing really in there for pump. But it's still like, you know, you know. Turns down for copyright. So, little update on the old physique, right? We have weighed in at 167 pounds. 167, the goal is 165, then we'll see what we look like, um, and then move on from there. So, I've been doing cardio three to four times a week, no less than 300 calories per. So more often than not, I end up going 350, 400, depends how I'm feeling. If I feel like doing more, I'll do more. If I have time to do more, I'll do more. And so, bearing in mind I haven't actually weighed myself this morning, I came from Charlotte's house and so no scales and stuff. This is how we're looking at 167 pounds. <laughs> One thing I've been working on for a while now is the vacuum. Um, I think myself, um, <laughs> I like, like lots of you guys at home I'm sure, um, can slack on the old core training, on the old apps, right? So it's something that especially within the last few weeks I've tried to focus on um, and in particular with the vacuum the last few months, you know, I'll wake up in the morning, I'll try and hold it for 10 to 15 seconds, something like that. And it's definitely, definitely worked. I mean, obviously it helps being leaner, there's less body fat, you can suck your stomach in more and it just looks better. Again, in inverted quotation marks. But, it's very, very hard to do and to be honest, in my opinion, is the best core workout you can possibly do. If you can hold in your core and control your breathing, if you can... I mean, it, <coughs> oh god, it's impossible to talk while you do it. But if you can control your breathing, control your midsection whilst you are doing the vacuum, you're doing something right. And so, I intend to step on stage one day. No, not not yet. You know, I'm nowhere near ready yet. I need way more size to even be competitive in in a bodybuilding competition. But I feel like if I nail down things like the vacuum from now, when I eventually compete in a couple of years, in a few years' time. You know, I, it will help me. It will help me when it comes to the actual competition. It will help me when it comes to scoring and stuff. Classic, you know, doing the vacuum. Chris Bumstead obviously just won the um, Olympia just now. And the big argument for that is that he has the most classic physique. He can hit the most classic poses. People think he is a lot more classic than Brion. 
and um, I think that has a lot to do with the vacuum. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just practicing it. It's nothing to do with wobs or the video really, I just thought I'd let you know. All right, I'm going to sync this up to the, I was going to say laptop then, but to the computer, to the computer, to the TV. I'm going to do some cardio here on the bike and then get some food. I'm hungry already though, which is not good. Bro, it's already six months of experience. Yeah. And we only have just out of the way. So, I always like to push just a couple of, uh, Calories. Where's the remote? When I'm doing cardio, I like to push past the boundary, if you like. If you say I'm going to do 300 calories, I'll always end up doing like 312 or, you know. Like, today, I said I was going to do 300. I got to 300, felt fine. I was like, okay, cool. Push it to 350. And then the same when I got to 350, pushed it to 400. Got to 400, I was just like, ah, a couple more will do. But, slowly but surely, slowly but surely, it's working. Slowly, but... Surely, slow, steady, consistent, sustainable calorie deficit. It's all you need. Packages, so it is the following day. Um, the night time that you guys have just watched, I ordered these and they're already here and it's like, well they arrived at like 2 p.m. I wasn't here but luckily someone was in to take them. So what we have ordered is a plain jet black pair of Legend London jeans. Been a big fan of their products for a long time now and need a new pair of jeans and um, wanted to, well, I go by the logic of with jeans, you either buy once or buy twice. You buy a good pair and they kind of last, you know, or you go to other places and are buying a new pair like a few months down the line because they're ruined. So that's why I went with these. Myself and Charlotte actually have kind of like a, a family, friends of family, event kind of thing um, and the jeans that I have uh, basically they don't they don't really fit me they've been they've been with me through the first year bulk and you know the first year fat and like the dieting and they've been stretched and they're faded you know they're just no good and so I needed a new pair of plain black jeans for this thing and the good thing is with jeans is that you can actually order your leg size because if you buy a pair of joggers or something then and you're a five foot six like me um, you can struggle on the leg length like I have a fairly big uh, waist and so I need the 32 waist that means that I'm more often than not need like a medium size in joggers which then means you have like a 5'10 to kind of six foot tall guy in leg length but I'm five foot six do you see what, see what, see what I mean see the problem there's a short guy problems absolutely smashing this is the best a pair of jeans has ever fit me if you are a person who lifts a person who goes to the gym um, then you need these jeans. If, if you actually train legs, you need these jeans. Trust me. I actually bought a new shirt to go with them as well. Just kind of like a new outfit um, overall. It's, it's not this shirt. I'm just kind of putting this on to show you kind of what it will look like. It's, you know, I, you know me, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know that when I go out, I like a, a jazzy kind of shirt. One that's not too tight, but then also not enormous at the same time I like an oversized kind of fit um, and it will kind of look like this you know you can't see my jeans brilliant so it will look a little something something like this I will show you at the time when I actually do it I'll probably post an Instagram photo or something like that because these jeans like I got one sock on and one no uh, anyway I'm a mess it's been a long day I don't have a code for these guys or anything I actually use Matt's code um, as in Matt does fitness it's literally just Matt 10 I figured I'd use his because we're actually best friends you know unboxings for days on the channel lately we've had muscle food stuff we've had legend london stuff we've had alpha elite stuff we have had other stuff in the next video you guys are going to see even more new stuff and that's sick really really super super sick so sick unreal love it but until then let me know where you want episode six of the best gym series to be this was like momentum episode 19 20 I actually don't know. I've kind of lost track. But anyway, I feel like the momentum is building though. And uh, that cannot be helped. That cannot be progressed without your guys' help. So please, if you have enjoyed this video, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. It would really mean a lot and it would really, really, 
really help us out. I've been reading some stuff and you know, it, it really does help. So it takes two seconds, it costs you nothing. Please drop the video a like. And you can see more sick videos are like this. Um, cheers Mo for the clickbait and cheers to John for the wobs. Remember his stuff is in the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Description box. Description. Description box. <laughs> go and um, go and check him out. And uh, he actually did a review video of it himself as well. So um, maybe go and check that out. Let him know I sent you and all that kind of stuff. That'd be cool. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Together we will grow. Don't forget like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good YouTuber stuff. Thank you so much for your support. All the messages, all the comments, all the likes. It really, 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 really means a lot. Thank you. I appreciate you. Have a good day, people. Together we will grow. And I will see you in the next one.